Today, I'm gonna attempt the impossible. No! I'm gonna punch something. It's winter, but it's sunny out. It's a really nice day, and when it's a nice day, I just wanna golf. Problem is, my wife doesn't like to golf. And so today, I'm gonna attempt to show her why golf is fun, and I think the best way to do that is teach her how to hit a good shot, because she does not know how. If you're a golfer, you know what hitting a pure shot feels like, and you know that excitement and joy. And so today, I'm gonna try to get Erica to do just that. We'll need these. And we'll also need some training aids. I'll need to find some things to be able to uh, teach her and get some practice swings in. So let's see what I can do. <laughs> Alright, I have two stations set up for Erica. I constructed them uh, to test three different things. The first one, consistency. The second one is kind of distance, and then the third one is kind of short game control. And I think those three things will help Erica to enjoy the game of golf if she can get consistency down and then feel a little bit of power. All right, let's bring Erica in and uh, get a baseline first. I don't even know what short game control is. <laughs> the first one is station one where we're gonna work on like consistency. And we have just our hitting net set up here with a target that we're gonna try to get Erica to hit, as well as just make contact with the ball. I have a carpet that I got from Goodwill which works so I don't uh, destroy the yard like for two bucks I recommend going to get it if you have a setup like this or even in your garage or in your house it protects stuff and feels kind of like a fairway kind of like a rough we're gonna did a baseline for that first without any coaching and then I'm gonna coach her a little bit and she's gonna come back and do these tests again the first thing I'm gonna have Erica do is take a seven iron and try to hit five balls five consistent shots all right Let's see how many you can get out of five. <laughs> All right, I gotta do practice. Oh yeah, that, what a good practice swing. Uh, that wasn't a practice, no, right? All right, so that's a 0 for 1 right now. That's okay. a 0 for 2 right now. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so now you're seeing what we're working with here and where the baseline's at. Oh my gosh. 0 for 3. <laughs> Stop it, you're stressing me out. Okay, I'm gonna hit this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. All right, I think that was four. No, I just want to coach you, but that's not yeah, not yet. Ball. Okay, wait. Yeah. There you go. Yes. We'll give that a, a one for five. All right. Let's go. <laughs> do you want to keep going? No, that was that was your five. We have to oh. go to the next thing. So that was your baseline. Now we know you're one for five. Now I'm gonna coach you and see if you can do better than that next time. Right. But for now, we're going off to station two. All right, station two may not work after what we just thought, saw at station one. But my plan was to use a, my launch monitor app on my phone, which will tell you things like <laughs> ball speed and club speed. And I was going to see if Erica could get her speed up. But if you can't hit the ball, then this might not work. But we'll set it up and we'll see if we can get any readings for how fast she's swinging the club. So this will be like a power test kind of. This one, you know, you're, you're just trying to make... Well, last one we were trying to make contact. This time you're trying to uh, crush the ball, kind of. It's lined up. <laughs> All right, now, when you swing, it should make a reading of how fast you're hitting it and stuff. All right, just make contact. Eye on the ball. It didn't read anything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Zero. Um, no, it didn't read anything, but you made contact, so, you know, I guess that's better than the first time. Oh my gosh. Um, our readings are not very good, so I think, we're, I think we're gonna wait till you can... <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it just, it just went under the thing. You're hitting it way too low. Almost into the cow field. It went pretty far. That was your farthest one yet. Okay, I have one more ball. <laughs> no. Uh, station three is our chipping station. We got our little chipping target over here and we're gonna do maybe 10 yards away from it and we're gonna see how many points Erica can get. Let's do four points uh, on the top, three points in the middle, two points on the bottom one, and then one point if you hit either of those side nets. And it, we'll see how many points she can get with five balls again. If she can even hit the target, we'll see. Nice easy hit, right? Mind you, it's the middle of February. 
That's the little spike to hold the carpet into the ground. Just <laughs> bend the little peg. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Oh, nice, almost there. <gasps> Where'd it go? In the field. All right, well, it went farther than the last one, though. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's sitting out there in the field, no big deal. You almost rolled it there, that actually wasn't bad. Thank you. Okay. And last one. You know, they, they actually got closer there at the end. All of the, the same box. direction. All right, now we're gonna do a little training and uh, just a couple tips and tricks. Ready. All right, so you're gonna take, here you go, take this one. Oh. oh. What happened? So I'm not really a teacher. I'm not the best at golf, but luckily we have YouTube. And so I can watch people teach other people so I can teach my wife. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the little bit I know and try to give her a couple tips to get more consistent and maybe hit a good shot where she's like, yay. We're gonna start with grip. There's three different kind of grips you can do with it. The first part, you're gonna take your left hand right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna, where you line up with the ball. With irons, you're swinging down into the ball. Instead of almost aiming at the ball, you aim like a, a little bit in front of the ball and try to come down at it so that you hit right there and then hit the ground. So you wanna have this triangle going on here. And then this hand, this arm is pretty much, your front arm is pretty much staying straight the whole time. A lot of your movement is coming from rotation. Okay, so stand. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> no. Save it. Ow. Oh. Okay, technical difficulties. Let's try that again. Stance. Step one. All right, no, step one is grip. It's triangle. Great. Okay, so and then how I'm going to go back is this arm stays straight. Uh huh. Rotate your body and back. And then I rotate my body like this, right? Yep. And then I come down and I, like that. Basically, yep. Let's try it. Nope, okay. Rotate. I did it! You did that! You did it! Not, you hit it! You hit it! You're, you're making contact with it. I'm so yeah, it. so now you're gonna kinda wanna try to almost hit, you know, right in front of the ball like I said. Oh, you hit it. Did I hit the target? I think you did. <laughs> I hit the <That's>... target. <laughs> oh, you're hitting the ball. That was four in a row. You hit right in the middle of the target. Right. I hit five. What, are you happy no. about yourself that you coached me right? No, I'm, I'm surprised that, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of shocked. You're hitting every time. <laughs> I know. I can't tell, it doesn't sound like you're hitting it in the middle. It sounds like you're kind of topping it. That one. <laughs> wow, that one was hard. Where's where's the where's the speedometer? <laughs> but we're not there yet. Why? It's a couple good balls. <laughs> it's calm. Like this? Yeah. You hit every single one of them. The consistency is pretty much there now. Now let's see if we can get a little more power. So it looks like we're getting some consistency going with some training. Yep, to keep that power. I'm gonna kind of put you in the position. You're gonna so straighten this arm. You play it with me? Yeah, kind of like that. So your arm is gonna be like the whole way across your chest I'm almost. To... All the way back? Oh, wow. Oh, crushed, crushed that. it. Crushed that one. We got the power and the accuracy going. Oh, yeah, there we go. That was right in the middle of the target, I get. Why is my body hurt? You're getting the full, the full um, body workout. Ooh. Let's see if we can get you to hit it like in the middle of the club. So let's slow down your swing and get a little bit of a rocky motion back to load your leg and then power through. Yes. <laughs> yep, you pulled your head. Oh, the sound of that one. <laughs> I didn't see that all the way through, but that sounded really good. That was fun. All right. Um, how you feel on that? Should we just? go over to the other station. Right, yeah, you saw it. how good that one felt pretty good. It did feel pretty do you good. Wanna, do you want to be able to hit it harder? No. <laughs> I think that was this pretty good. This is the good. beginning. This is the beginning. Exactly. Of this is just part one 
of getting it, Probably getting right. the basics down. So yeah, a little bit of learning is, so this is a seven. We'll bring your feet a little bit closer together. Mm -hmm. And now when we're doing these short little chipping shots, you'll kind of do that same motion we've been doing, just only take it back to maybe here. Oh. And kind of do like a sweep through it. Okay, my feet are closer we'll together. Take one step closer to the ball again, yeah. And then I go back with this. Yep. My wrist looks through. Yeah, your wrist, no, keep your wrist in line. You hit it. Go. You hit it off of this part of the club. So what happened is you came through and you hit it like that and it went uh -huh. flying that way. So take a step closer to it. Closer? Yeah. I feel like I need to be further. But no, okay. you're going to be almost like right over top of it and then just... Oh, there you go. You got a little chip in there. Nope. There you go. See how long you can keep it on the carpet if that makes oh, sense. I didn't hit the carpet. Come on. Get the carpet. How oh, come I can't hit it? Hit the carpet. Hit the carpet. Not hitting the carpet? I hit it. There you go. There you go. That was really good. There. That's perfect. Thank you. Now, that was good. But now we don't need as much power. Perfect. <gasps> that was perfect. I hit the target. Even Dave. less. You can do even less than that. Perfect. You're hitting right in the middle of that. <laughs> You're proud? <laughs> so, so proud. You're gonna have to go back and watch this in slow motion. All right, do you think you're ready for a test after this 10 minutes of training? Yeah, hold on, one more. That was Ooh. hard, but I know I, I hit it. That was still pretty good. Erica is ready for the test. She's feeling more confident. We trained, got a couple quick tips for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Just enough that I think she'll do better on all of these and maybe see why I like golf. So what's the first test? All right, first test again is consistency. She got one out of five on the first attempt. So now all she has to do is hit more than one ball into the net and she'll do better. Let's in a see. row. In a row. In a row. I'm nervous. Oh, no, okay. It's the same I, thing it's, as the I'm just pressuring. We'll cut it, we'll cut it. No one will see it. Oh no, Josh, I'm going. You gotta hit down and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. No, what the happened? pressure. It's the pressure. No, no, no. Of the I got it. Right. I got it. I got Wait. it. I got Reset. It. No. You made some contact with okay, it. Okay, no. We're... I was just doing fine. What happened? What is happening? Okay, stop. No, I got it. Stop. <laughs> All right. What am I doing wrong? Take it back nice and slow. And then aim for like right there, right in front all of right, it, you know? Right. And then go down into the carpet. There it is, all there's right, one. All right, all right. Now you got it, all right, here's the test. Really hit the carpet. Freaking, I'm gonna punch something. Josh, I was doing fine a second ago. <laughs> I know. What is happening? Okay, stop. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow, that one was good. Jeez. That, I count. Uh, it made it. I have to start over. That's one. All right, I need concentration. That's two. That's three. Ooh. That's four. Ooh. Four and a half out of five? Four and a half out I of still five. touched it. I'm going to do one more. I just want to make it to five. That was, that was five, good. Five. All right. Let's see if we can get any type of speed reading now that you can make contact with it. Cool. Speed test is about to commence. Let's see if we can get any speeds going. I need to get over zero. Club speed and ball speed. We're both zero. You got a reading. Yeah. Um, 54 miles per hour on ball speed and club speed was 41. Oh my gosh. Not bad. That had to get a good reading. Wow. 102 ball speed. No. 77 no. club speed, no. babe. Oh, yeah. That's babe. not right. Yeah. That's not right. Oh, yeah. 102? Uh huh. Your ball's going 102 <laughs> miles an hour. All right, let's see what else. I'm you... happy with that. All right, see if you can do it again. My hand's starting to hurt, though. <laughs> Getting tired. We better finish this up I'm quick. Hurt. Yeah. Woohoo! 
Not as good, good, but you know, that's still pretty good. Also was better, but I am so happy with that. Way better than zero. Oh that's my crazy. gosh. 102? Off the test three, you think you can do better on test three? No. All you have to do is probably hit it one time. I know. I think you got this. We're at test three again. Erica's gonna try to beat her score again, and she just has to hit the thing, and she'll beat it and be better than she was. So I think she can do that. I think it shouldn't be too difficult. We're in a different location, uh, roughly the same distance away. It's just a little warmer in the sun. So here she goes. He's ready, folks. <gasps> oh, she touched it. I touched it almost. It. Oh, that was too hard. A too hard. hard. Too hard. You know, if it was lined up accurately, it probably would have went in there. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> it, I went under. It went under. Went under it. <laughs> Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was... I got it in! She got it. I got it she in! Got it. That's better than before. I'm gonna go again. The excitement of doing golf well. It's working, guys. I think she's liking golf. Oh, too hard. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna do it until that I get it. That's really good. Thank you. Okay, I want to do a few more. See, I didn't even tell her to hit it more. She's doing it on her own. I think she likes it. What are you saying? <laughs> Nothing. The addiction has begun. Thousands of dollars later, she'll be addicted to golf just like me. <laughs> oh wow, look at this pine cone. It's a, it's a decent sized pine cone. Thanks tree, I want to hit some. I think she wants to go again. So you think she can do better? Too much. Too much. Oh, my last ball! <gasps> my last ball! I got in! So now that you understand it a little bit better, do you think you like golf? I understand how it can be satisfying when you finally know what you're doing and you can look at where you're trying to hit and actually hit there. I can see how it's exciting. So you might try it again? Yeah, I for sure will do it again because Josh loves golf, first of all. But also because I feel like I can just get better from here. Whereas before, it was so frustrating when I couldn't hit the ball. Now that I can hit it, I think we can actually go onto the golf course and, well, right. that's, that might be a bit of a, a jump. A, another store, maybe driving range first. And then... Yeah. We'll see. But well, you did it. It's all it's all right. I don't mind it. I don't know where any of them went. Where why? No! Why? It was fine. It was fine. And the wind died down.